Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. We're still in Chicago checking out Brick World. And you know what? Just around the corner is Brick Mania. I've never been to a Brick Mania before, but they sell all sorts of military based Lego sets and they're all like customized. I cannot wait to check out this store. This store is massive. We got all sorts of cool custom stuff. Let's check it out. Before we get started with our uh, tour here, just keep in mind that I'm not really a military person, so I don't really have a huge PK or product knowledge on these vehicles and tanks and stuff like that, but what I can tell you is they are absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna start with the cabinets. Oh my gosh, is this a Blackbird up here? It is a Blackbird. A massive new release Blackbird for $1,150. But look at that thing. Oh, that is awesome. So there's a custom military like crafts, planes, uh, tanks, vehicles, oh, just everything, right? And they're all like custom print, like the minifigures are all incredibly detailed and they just are fantastic, right? I don't have any Brick Mania stuff in our collection currently, so it's really cool to be at the store to see all of this custom stuff. And the print and just the detail of them is fantastic. Of course, Brick Mania has been around for quite some time and they've been producing these models in limited edition runs for quite some time. Get the Tiger 131, but the special operations craft, the uh, Flak 40 twin mount, military bulldozer, Rigid hull, inflatable boat, light attack aircraft, tank battalion, 761st tank battalion, World War II medium tank, <laughs> torpedo bomber. Modified light airliner. Special Forces Direct Action Penetrator. Search and Rescue Helicopter. There are just so many kits here that are just off the charts cool. So here's all the uh, minifigures, and these are all custom prints. So I believe they take actual Lego minifigures and then they put custom print detail on them. So they retail for about $25 to $35, depending on the figure, and just the amount of detail. That's not bad, right? But for a completely custom minifigure, it's pretty neat. Look at this, we got a squad here too. You can buy a squad pack part two custom minifigures. So you get three minifigures in the package for 95 bucks. Oh, look, there's Albert Einstein. Did you see these too? That's really nice. Look at the print detailing on that astronaut there. Holy smokes. That's over the top, hey? The minifigs are just like over the top. I don't know how else to explain it. The print detailing is crazy. Gotta love it. It's the German battleship. The smart gunner. Then we've got sealed kits just right over here. So these are gonna be like sealed sets that you can buy and build. They're gonna come with instructions and everything like that. They're all very limited edition and a lot of work goes into them for like creating the custom pieces and the print and design and stuff like that. So I mean, they're, they're rather expensive, but for what they are, I think they're really cool and, and very limited. I like that one, the Nighthawk. Thunderbolt. The packaging looks really legit too, you know. We got some t-shirts and swagger over here. Holy smokes, look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> that is huge. That's impressive, hey? 
the USS O'Hare. Well, nice looking helicopters over here as well. Strategic heavy bomber. So there's a bunch of like books and stuff like that. And also custom stickers too. So like mock accessories and micro brick battle. So it's like micro stuff, I guess, no. Then over here, there's a bunch of uh, stickers as well for your mock accessories. They also sell like standard like board games and stuff like that too, like Catan, Ticket to Ride. And they have like buildable minis like Warhammer and also paint and plush. <laughs> Lego Star Wars plush, there we go. Oh, what are these? These are Kobe. Everyone tells me to get Kobe stuff. I've never built a Kobe kit in my life, but the tanks actually look pretty good, don't they? Uh, like 530 pieces for $52.99, so obviously the prices of Kobe is a little bit cheaper than the Brickmania stuff, but that's because, you know, it's mass-produced compared to the Brickmania stuff, not limited edition. And I think the custom print in the Brickmania stuff would probably be a little bit better too. 140 bucks for 1,482 pieces. And also the F-15 Eagle. That one looks cool. 72 bucks. I've never built a Kobe kit before. I wouldn't say that it's quote unquote a knockoff. Like some people classify it as a knockoff, but it's more so just like a competitor that makes, you know, military vehicles. Hey, Jason. Yeah, no, I saw that. You saw that? I, I don't, I'm trying to decide if 37 is worth it. Mm. Uh, for it. I might get it. I don't know. <laughs> Some more board games and stuff like that here. Oh, look at this little uh, micro scene here as well. Look at the micro tanks. That's cool. And then some more kits here. So there was all the sort of expensive kits over here, right? But there's also the smaller ones as well, which are a little bit more reasonable, like 75 or 30. These would actually fit in my suitcase too. I also got all the accessories here as well. So you get like custom like machine guns and stuff like that. Look at the zombie head. Sorts of little uh, weapon accessories. And there's even more over here too, right? Like you can buy fabric flags for countries or printed tiles, all custom printed stuff. Uh, you can buy the minifig heads. Or look at all the weapons over here. The helmets, more guns. Guns are like a buck each, it's not bad. Custom made guns, weapons. Some pretty cool stuff. Really well like organized and displayed too, eh? Combat knives. It's a pretty neat concept. You'll never be able to get this stuff from Lego. I mean, unless it's a Star Wars blaster, I guess, right? <laughs> now I'm back over here. I'm looking at this. This thing is just huge. Like, look at it. It's, it's ridiculously sized. Like, it is just so big. I think they have, like, different ones at different Brickmania stores, right? Because there's more than one brick-and-mortar store. Oh, look. Take one. Just some information on... The model. When you're looking at those Kobe uh, kits, we didn't look at this side here. So there's more Kobe kits of like tanks and stuff like that for like $27. And the Panzer tank for like, once again, $27. Pretty reasonable actually. There's 2,510 pieces on this uh, large aircraft carrier for $199.95. Uh, you know what, I, as much as I love Lego, like, and I would actually try one of these because I've never built, you know, any sort of military vehicle, you know, out of Lego bricks. I don't think you ever will unless you're building it completely custom, like from a rebrickable model or something like that. There's something with the helicopters that are really appealing to me. Like, I really like this one. The all-weather attack chopper, double propeller. Look at like, the missiles on the side of it. So you got some Lego minifigures here too. Actually, a really good selection of them. 
I like this Robin on the, the cycle there. Get some Simpsons ones, some CMFs. More Simpsons ones. Ninjago. Batman. Disney, like Hercules. Jafar. Wonder Woman. The Corn of the Cob, yeah. Cactus. I think I'm gonna get some of these. But which one should I get? Oh, I like that one with like the Death Eater uh, face or print. I think Andrew got, uh, with the Brick and Brood, he got which one? Where's the horse one? Oh, this one here. I think I'm gonna get the last one of those because that's really neat. I've never seen that before. What is that even from? I have no idea. Also down here, we got all these poly bags. There's Shazam there. I don't have a Shazam minifigure. Another one that Andrew got up. I sort of like your style, man. You go, I like man. your style. You got Albert Einstein too, eh? Going after the snake charmer guy. I'm oh. Sure. So the longer we stay here, the more you're going to get? I think so. There you go. <laughs> Which minifig should I get? Oh, man. I was so distracted by the minifigs. Did you even see this up here? Is this like a U-boat? No. Yeah. It must be a U-boat. I think. <laughs> That's awesome. I also like these ones up here too. The USS Arizona in that scale. I think it's really nice. Also the Bismarck. Whoa. That's a neat model. I don't know if they sell the Bismarck. Maybe. Oh, there's the Arizona. So $7.95 for that one there. And oh, here's the Bismarck. So $7.04 for the Bismarck. I really like the Stealth one I, or the Nighthawk. I love that one. I mean, like I said, I'm not like the biggest military guy. I don't really know like all these planes up by heart. Like I don't do a whole lot of research, but what I can tell you is they look fantastic, right? I do like that though. I actually have a model of the Bismarck, uh, like a hand painted one at home. Oh, look at this little taxi. Oh, the chariot too, that's awesome. Goliath. I like these little kits. Just a little more doable. I, I sort of like them. Oh, look at this. A little rocket there. So we ended up picking up three minifigures. I got this mermaid Batman right here. I love it. I think it's just hilarious. Look at the seashells on his ripped abs there. Ripped pecs, I should say. <laughs> then we got this one here. I love this horse. Uh, leg piece there, or like torso. I just think that's the coolest thing ever. And then I really like this minifig here, you know, Batman fan club. I just think the printing on the torso is super awesome. So those are the three minifigures that we picked up from the Brick Mania store here. That concludes our tour of Brick Mania. I've never been here before. I think there's lots of cool stuff. Just don't know if I want to get into the realm of collecting uh, military style vehicles. Really cool to see all of these different vehicles, planes, helicopters, tanks, and also this thing here. It's amazing. I recommend coming to check out uh, Brick Mania store just because it's, it's worth checking all this really cool stuff out. Thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Farewell.